We begin tonight in the city where police are looking for the driver of a snowplow. They say the plow hit a man who was in the road early Monday morning and left the scene. Authorities just identified the victim as 72 year old to Nehem. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us with the latest on the investigation. The incident happened around 6 a.m. on this stretch of road behind me. A dark colored pickup truck with a plow attached to it hit a 72 year old man head on. The man was later brought to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. I feel bad that, you know, there was a tragedy especially in our neighborhood. Police identified the victim as to Nehum. Investigators say the pickup truck kept driving towards Paxton without stopping after striking the 72 year old. A vehicle matching the description was later towed from the scene, but police say the driver was strictly a witness. Uh, he allowed the police voluntarily uh, to tow his truck uh, so they can conduct an investigation and uh, confirm that it was not in fact the truck. Uh, so they're investigating at this time, but he's not being treated as a suspect. It wasn't him. I've known him all my whole life. He's not that type of person. Plow company owner John Eaton says his friend George Auburn is the man whose truck was towed. I went to school with him and we grew up together. He's a wonderful guy. Um, I couldn't say enough good things about him. And if he saw somebody on the side of the road, he'd stop to try to help him. A plow driver himself, Eaton says the job has been demanding this past week. Exhausted and frozen. We plow 12 hours, 14 hours. We get a few hours sleep and get the truck ready and we're back out. Eaton lives in the area of Pleasant Street where the accident happened. He says this isn't the first incident on this road. I lived here for 10 years and in that time there were so many accidents on this corner. Every year there was a tragedy. Now at this hour, no arrests have been made and police say they are still searching for their suspect. Anyone with any information is asked to call Worcester Police. Reporting in Worcester, Brittany Schaefer, Worcester.